fashion brand founders and owners. This video, I cover how we consistently increase ROAS on new customers with our fashion ad copy strategy. Here are the 15 plus fashion brands that we scale, and we have over 14 video testimonials from fashion founders like yourself on the results and experience. I won't go over every single testimonial because it's all below this video. You can check it out yourself. Now, why should you watch this video? Well, here's some results we get with the help of our fashion ad copy strategy. This one from January 28th to February 26, 2024. This one scaled from, we spent 17.4K, got a 6.93 ROAS at 121K return. And this one, we spent 44.8K at a 3.8 ROAS at 170K return. I'm just rounding it out. Now, I'm Brandon, one of the co-founders of Digiceptual. We specialize in scaling fashion brands for over four years now with meta ads. In 2023, we made, we made over 39 million in sales from new customers across all our fashion brand clients with the help of our fashion ad copy strategy. As you can see here in the dashboard, top right, all the 12 months here, over 39 million in sales. So in 2023, we generated over 39 million in sales. In the past four years, we've generated over 156 million in sales. So the strategy that I'm gonna share with you is based on over 156 million in sales generated for fashion brands from new customers. Now, this is for you. If your fashion brand does at least 30 to 35K per month online or more, you want to scale by getting new customers at top of funnel, or you wanna get a higher ROAS from the same ad spend. Here's an important principle. Learning means to do something different when you encounter the same situation. So if you encounter the same situation but you don't do anything different, you have not learned anything. Big problems this strategy will help you solve. You rely on discounts and sales promotions in your ad copy. You can't get new customers profitably when scaling or your agency can't scale your brand because they don't understand fashion. Now here's the fashion ad copy strategy. These are our principles when writing copy. It's simple and direct, nothing fancy or over the top. How we write fashion ad copy that converts. So lines, we write one or two lines that communicates the brand message and what they offer. Here are three examples, right? Crafted from cotton eyelet with hand stitched details. Boom, what they, that's what the brand is about, what they offer, new drops every week. And here's speak your mind, embrace your rebel side. If they won't give you a seat at a table, build your own, join the crew, boom, just like that. Next, emojis. We stick to one to two emojis max. Sometimes we use none. For example, here's two emojis, here's one emoji. Hashtags almost non-existent. If it fits the brand, then one max. We keep these two at an absolute minimum because lots of emojis and hashtags are too spammy. Lastly, we don't mention any discounts or sales promotions in the copy, unless it's a known period like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Here's exactly why. We want new customers that buy the brand because of the brand and the products, not because of the discount. Discount customers are not loyal to the brand, they are loyal to the discount. If a brand advertises discounts and sales promos a lot, what happens is over time, the brand's customer list is full of discount shoppers. Then when the brand launches new collections at full price, the initial sales are mediocre or the brand loses money because most of the customers are waiting for a discount since that is the first impression they got from the brand. Side note, if an agency is always nagging you to discount because sales are slow or they need some incentive to buy, it means they don't know what they're doing. Now, when do we test copy? There's no point in testing copy in the beginning because creatives matter the most in fashion. Copy doesn't make or break an ad. So in our testing campaign, which you can see here, it's a bit caught up, but it's the same. We write the initial copy and keep it the same across all ads while we're testing creative. So all the ads here in the, in the testing, creative testing campaign, the copy is all the same. We only start testing copy once we identify the top performing ads in our scaling campaigns. If a brand already has top performing ads, we use its copy in the creative testing campaign and start testing copy at the same time. So you can see here, top performing ads. Yes, okay, use copy in creative testing, test copy. No, don't, do not test copy. Our goal with testing copy, our goal is to continually optimize top performing ads to get the higher ROAS and convert more new customers. Ad copy isn't the biggest thing that drives conversions, but it still does to an extent. At higher spends, like 50 to 100K ad spend per month, optimizations add up and make a big difference in ROAS. Example, on the left, let's say a brand is spending 50K per month on ad spend and is getting a three ROAS, which is 100K uh, return without testing or optimizing copy. Now on the right, with copy and testing optimization, they're now getting a 3.2 ROAS, which is 175K return. I, I, I wrote it wrong in the, in the message. Well, that extra 15K uh, return is from the same spend simply by testing and optimizing copy. Now, how do we test copy? 
Well, here's the setup. Ad set, one is enough. Budget, $20 a day. Audience is broad. Age, gender, location depends on the brand. Ads, five ads. Top performing creatives in all the ads. So you put all the top performing creative in all the ads. So the creative's the same. And then we test copy. There's only one campaign needed. We make a separate campaign just for testing copy, right? Just a copy testing campaign. In the ad set, we duplicate the top performing ad four times to get five ads total. The creative is the same across all ads because we know it's a top performer. For each of the duplicate ads, we write a split test variation of the copy from the top performing ad and then we launch. Testing takes seven days max to identify the top performing copy. Once identified, we take that new top performing ad and scale it in our broad audience scaling campaigns, test new interests and lookalike audiences in the audience testing campaigns, and test four new ad copy against it to continue our copy Testing. Testing never stops because, again, our goal is to optimize top performing ads to get even higher returns. And by the way, if you're if you're curious about what these campaigns are, I covered this in another video. In summary, fashion ad copy is simple and direct. One or two emojis max. Hashtags are almost non-existent. We only test copy once we have top performing ads. Testing copy optimizes top performing ads and every other ad to get a higher return from the same amount of spend. Now, if you're interested in us using our fashion ad copy strategy along with our entire ad strategy to scale your fashion brand profitably, click the book a call button below this video to book a call with me. The bottom line is you give us access to your ad account and we'll get you similar results like below on a silver platter. So again, this fashion brand, right? 17.4K spent, 6.93 ROAS at 121K return. This one, 44.8K spent at a 3.8 ROAS at 170K return. Here's more results. This is a European brand. So fit from 15.4K euro spent, 4.57K ROAS at a 70.5K return. This one on the right, we spent 36.2K at an 8.27 ROAS at a 299K return. Here's some of the, again, there's some of the 15 plus fashion brands we scale. And we have over 14 video testimonials from fashion brands like yourself on the results and experience working with us. So again, if you're interested in us using our fashion ad copy framework and strategy along with our ad strategy to scale your fashion brand profitably, click the book a call button below this video to book a call with me. I look forward to speaking to you very soon.